Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we got baby chicks about three weeks ago. Um, we got them almost as soon as we got the land because we knew that we really wanted chickens. And they take a little while, you know, to start laying, you know, anywhere from four to six months, just kind of depending on your breed and such. And so they are currently in our shower. <laughs> we just move them every time that we, uh, that we need to take a shower. Um, at night, we put this lid over top. Of course, we leave a good sized crack for air, right? But, um, you know, and then we turn the light off. All the other lights are off. But we have about 14 chickens. Not about. We have 14 chickens. They're all Americanas. They are in their awkward teen years. This is Crook Beak. Oh, we call her Crook. She's got a crooked beak. But she eats just fine and she drinks it. Hello. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> they all are really, really good chickens. They are, you know, chickens are really funny. They all have their, I feel like they all have their own little personalities. We've had chickens on and off for like six or six or seven years. And uh, Ember loves the chickens. And uh, the nice thing about raising chickens from chicks, we've raised chickens from chicks and from adults. And the nice thing about raising them from chicks, they won't hurt, they won't hurt, it's okay, is that you know exactly how they were raised. We've had adult chickens that um, we had no idea how they were raised and they were just, oh, I don't know, something was just wrong. They just weren't, something was just wrong. Anyway, and so you know exactly how to raise them, you know, you can pick them up, shh, shh, shh don't do that. You can pick them up and you... Let, let's leave them no. you know you don't have to pick them up all the time but you know you can pet them you get to know them you do create a bond with your chickens now these are just egg laying chickens they're not meat chickens and you know culling chickens it's like you know why bother because they're just soup chickens you know if you ever need to great but yeah there's really like no point in it pretty much <laughs> unless you really have to like they're sick or you know something something's going on but Okay, so um, we do not have any heat lamp. We do not raise, um, we have not raised these chickens with heat lamps. You have to think, how did they raise chickens without a heat lamp before heat lamps even existed, right? Well, there was the mother, of course, the mother, the chicken would be, you know, little chicks would be underneath the mother, but sometimes the mother would be too broody and couldn't raise the chicks. So how did they do it? A heat lamp takes an absurd amount of energy to run. So we really, we couldn't run a, a heat lamp, you know, 24 seven or even 12 hours on the uh, solar setup that we have right now. So we had to find a different option. And so we, we, re, re, we researched a lot, excuse me. We researched a lot to figure out if we could actually raise chicks without a heat lamp. And lo and behold, we can. So first of all, there's the natural, there's several natural ways. There's bundling up together. What they do at night is they all huddle together. They're all very, very warm. And um, another way is to get, you know, natural um, resources like hay and feathers and all these natural resources and make little bedding for them. And so now they have all these natural, you know, ways to keep warm with themselves and with the bedding. And then there's, there's other ways. What we do is we actually have this, um, this gallon jug. I fill halfway with cold water and then the other half with hot water every single night. I used to do it during the day as well. Um, I used to have this in the day, during the day and I would, I would switch out. I would refill it with warm water every few hours when it started getting a little, little colder it, during the day, you know, during that first two weeks. After the first two weeks, they don't really need it anymore. I mean, as you can see, they're not cold. They do not need it. You know, they're they're not suffering. They're very happy. You hear those hap happy chirps. They're moving around. They're very, very happy. What I had actually was, um, I had the strips with fleece in it so they would get tucked up under, underneath that fleece against the warm. They loved it. They absolutely loved that. I did that during the day and then I would just switch it out every few hours or so and re-up, you know, rewarm the water. They loved that. And then at night I would do this plus I did a, what you can see in there is a can. Um, I would fill that with boiling water. It has fleece wrapped around it and then a little, that little cardboard box was over top of it. Um, 
And so that's what we did for them for the first two weeks. Now, all I do at night is I just put this in here with uh, hot water, you know, with half hot, half cold. So it's not like boiling hot. Um, and then that's a good hot mixture for them. And they love it. They're perfectly fine. And then I have kept it a little bit warmer in the RV just for them um, than I normally would. You know, like the heat has turned on a little bit more than it normally would. To be 100% honest, you know, chickens don't really need a heat lamp. I mean, they really don't. Um, if you've ever seen, you know, chickens, they are very rarely underneath the heat lamp. What the heat lamp does is it just kind of radiates heat throughout the whole area, but they don't really need the heat lamp. Um, they do need ways to keep warm and there are several other ways. So here are a few other ways that I have researched to, um, keep chicks warm. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Keeping chicks happy and healthy and warm off grid without a heat lamp is very easy, very doable. And I would highly suggest that people try it out if they can, you know, it's, it's a, it's been working out fantastic for us. As you can see, these chickens are about three weeks old, just about, and, um, they're doing fantastic. She doesn't like me that close. So anyway, I'll let you know if anything happens, but so far over these past three weeks, they've been thriving and doing great. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Hopefully we'll be getting these chickens out of here very, very soon. It's nice and warm outside, so they should be good outside pretty soon. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.